welcome back to this channel and I am back with a new video I will do a makeup tutorial with this look bear with me with the process especially with probably most of it and don't forget to give it a like comment down below if you have any video requests or any questions and don't forget to subscribe down below too. and also don't forget to click the notification bell to notify you when I have a new video like this hope you guys enjoy and we'll just go ahead and get started I took a picture of the makeup look or the eye makeup that I did few days ago I actually posted on my Instagram stories I did a poll if you want a makeup tutorial and most of y'all do want to see the makeup sorry for interrupting the video and the quality is really bad so I apologize for that what I'm trying to say in the first few clips was I'm going to recreate the eye makeup that I did a month ago. I was supposed to upload this like a month ago, but I was just having a hard time. I have to cut a lot of clips in this video. It was a struggle. I was filming the makeup tutorial for almost two hours. So after this clip, you will wash the eye makeup first and then the rest will be face makeup will be a messed up because I was running out of time um, my camera was switching on and off so it was pretty messed up for me I was annoyed already and then there were a lot of background noise because it was windy outside so I apologize for a bunch of cuts and yeah, so um, I'll make it up to you soon. I'll find some time to do another makeup tutorial. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll, we'll go back to the regular video. Okay, bye. <laughs> Usually I start with my face, but when I was trying out like my makeup, I started with the eye section first. I'm going to start with the eyebrows. I don't need much of it, probably a little bit, just to fill in the gaps here on my eyebrows. This is my second time putting any makeup on my eyebrows because I don't touch my eyebrows every time I do a makeup look. Because we're just gonna fill in. I'm using the um, the Wet n Wild pomade that they have and it comes with the mini brush and then we're just gonna fill in if you know how to do your eyebrows that's fine you don't have to like do this step so we're just gonna fill in the gaps if it's too much i'm so sorry all i know is that if you do your eyebrows it's kind of like building it up it's not one application I'm just making it sure it's filled in and it looks awfully. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't have an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as my eyeshadow primer. Just doing it step by step for you guys. My concealer's there. Moving on to the eyeshadow part. I apologize for the bad quality clip. So um, you will expect a bunch of this later on, I think. Anyway, for the eyeshadow part, I use the Makeup Revolution London Eyeshadow Palette. This is only for $7. And the name of the palette is Vitality. I really like it. I mentioned in the video that the pigment um the eyeshadows are pigmented it's really nice um you will see a bunch of matte eyeshadows and shimmers and bold colors as well and yeah that's about it all right cool. the 
Makeup Revolution London Eyeshadow Palette. I really like the pigmentation of these eyeshadows. It's an easy kind of step and I will guide you guys how to do it. First thing that I'm gonna do is the transition color. This one. You have to build up eye makeup look. Same thing as you do your eyebrows, it's buildable. You don't want to do it in one application. This is how I do it to see the real color of what you're putting. Like right now compared to this one, to this one. I'm rewatching again the video um, for the second time and I noticed that I've been doing this kind of like I'm scrunching, scrunching, I don't know, like kind of like doing this and doing that, doing this or something like that with my eye section because my eyes are monolith eyes. It doesn't have a crease, it doesn't have a line on my eyelids. So it's difficult for me to find where to put the transition color, um, the eyeshadows. So I usually do that throughout the throughout the eye makeup section so just saying if it's if you're wondering why I'm doing it in the video. Alright, that's it. Step is but the eyeshadow like probably half of my eyelid. So kinda like that. I'm going to use the this shade this pop of color like really bright pink color since it's really bright tap some excess you don't want too much of that color because it's really pigmented but this part is just that it takes a really long time that's why i don't do my eye makeup i I didn't go for makeup school or something as you notice because I don't know what I'm doing but um, I just learned how to do my makeup by watching YouTube videos a couple of times it's not just oh you watch that video and that's it you know how to do it it's a re repetition try and error kind of thing and yeah so you learn it step by step you try it out if it's kind of wrong you just have to do it again try as you can see I'm just putting in this part of my eyelids not all over my lids just half and you just have to build up the color in the photo it looks really bright so we're going to achieve that bright look so I was watching some clips and I noticed that I was telling my experience on how I started makeup and what really um, made me get into makeup or something who inspired me and I started by watching Michelle Fawn and Jacqueline Hill's makeup tutorials I really love watching them when I was starting out on makeup also it was helpful for me because I have a monolith eyes that's what you call so like I don't have like a line on my eyelids and because of my eye shape it's difficult to put eyeshadows and this is why I also want to do a makeup tutorial because of you know um some people have monolid eyes this is taking so long because you have to build up the I feel like I just got starting out I really have a hard time on like finding my shade foundation shade concealer um like my my eyeshadow look was kind of harsh kind of looking because I don't know how to blend you know that kind of a struggle before and now that you're like learning how to blend and everything I don't know why I sound like that but <laughs> I'm 
cover in the transition color so we're gonna do some ways to kind of like show that again we're kind of done it looks i don't know if it looks harsh or something but it gives you like a really nice pop of color and then next thing that we're gonna do is the outer part kind of like a smoky of this eye makeup look so i'm going to put that the outer lid i'm gonna show you guys how where i'm gonna put it so i'm going to use this color so i'm gonna put it here also don't put too much you have to build it up so I'm gonna put it here. The same thing as what I did for the transition color, it's just that it's not all the way. And I'm just probably half of it. Why am I doing it? And then you just have to build it up. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this part bit darker than this one because this one has still the bright color eyeshadow and this one is kind of like looking chocolate color right now and we'll fix that later <laughs> it looks harsh now so we're gonna blend that in I'm just gonna blend that properly because it looks really harsh right since we have that kind of trouble step, <laughs> we're gonna put another layer of the bright ink. But now it's not too much. I think I just messed up the freaking makeup look. <laughs> the final part of the eye makeup look was putting the brighter shade, this eyeshadow this one this color i'm gonna put it the remaining part where i didn't put any eyeshadow so in this part this part and since it's a shimmer eyeshadow it really gives you that um bright shade and it, it will really emphasize the the look just kind of put it in the middle where the pink color is there, then we're gonna blend that in. I'm convincing myself again, but you can tell that it has that bright shade in this part, and then like this part is really dark. We're gonna do some things there. We're not yet done. I'm <laughs> gonna put more of the shimmer part. Just gonna blend the the edges, the harsh lines. Okay, just be careful of like blending it because it's a shimmer color. It's a lighter shade than most of the colors I put so if you kind of blending it too much it will it will be like so faded that it will it'll be just disappearing i'm gonna do a highlight later on after i do everything next part the toughest part of this eye makeup look is putting the is putting eyeliner i'm gonna try it to do it on camera so what i'm gonna do is wing first i'm just gonna line because i usually do the line and then wing but it looks horrible when i did it that way so i'm gonna try wing and then just line it and hopefully i wing it even the elf liquid eyeliner next one i'm gonna use this wet and wild um crayon 
color icon eyeliner. I'm gonna fill in some spaces. I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be back. While I was charging my camera's battery, I need to finish up the eye makeup look because it will take a lot of time. The steps that I did after the eyeliner was putting the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner in Baby's Got Black and I did fill in the spaces that the eyeliner didn't fill in and then I um I also put it in my waterline and then after that I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner again but in different color it's in Pretty in Mink and then I just put some eyeshadow, this bright pink that I used earlier, um, waterline or the lower lash line just to have that red color effect. I have to curl my eyelashes and then apply mascara but I'll do that after I face makeup. So I already primed my face using this one. I use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is my Holy Grail Primer. The next one that I'm going to do is putting foundation. I usually use this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Plus Balance Stick Foundation. It's almost done. But for this makeup tutorial, I use this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. This is also my favorite foundation. I'm going to put a mm, little bit first. You don't want to put it too much. Dot it around your face. has a thick coverage, so if you have some blemishes on your face or... Um, some acne marks it will really cover up also has that matte effect if you like matte foundations this is the one i've tried some matte foundations i didn't really like it it caused some breakouts on my face and i'm going to use this beauty blender to blend everything <music> you're a beginner on makeup and you don't know your shade your foundation shade as someone probably in the counter or most of the makeup stores they have someone there to help you out one layer is enough for the um for the look and the next is concealer I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again for my, um, this one. And I just want to like, you know, highlight. I actually put a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spray that. Most of it of my face makeup, so I'm just gonna um tell you guys what i apply and what products that that i use so i actually put some concealer on this part of my forehead and then on my chin and then i just put maybe fit me matte plus poreless powder press powder looks like this i'm in the shade pure beige and i just put it um on top of the where i put concealer and some of the areas where i get oil after that i use elf heart defensor highlighter I use this highlighter under my eyebrows just to highlight that makeup look and then what i'm gonna do is put some highlight in my inner corner here doing the contour or the bronzing actually this is the only high-end product that I use for this video so I just use the travel size blush and bronzer duo I just use the the bronzer just to bronze up 
the the look. Also, I bronze the where my double chin is, but you usually don't bronze your double chin. You usually contour it, and then I also did the number three bronzing procedure, which it starts from your hairline, then your temples, and then your jawline. The way um you're supposed to do when you're bronzing your face. I don't know if it's noticeable, but I just did some bronzing here just under my cheeks. After that, I used the Maybelline Fit Me blush in peach color. This is how it looks. I don't know that it's a bit mm, no. Nah. It's a nice peachy tone blush, so I just use that. I think the last thing that I'm going to do is put highlighter and this part like the upper part of my cheeks just to highlight that one and I'm using the elf um, highlighter from heart and defense or I highlight here this part uh, I don't know if it's the white or it's giving me that shine, but it's giving me the this, this shine, if you can tell. There you go. This, that highlight, it looks harsh, but we'll fix that one. I'm using both highlighters just to have the you know, look, and I'm just going to blend everything up. Last part because I almost forgot. I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow mascara. The eyebrow look. So I won't forget. Just brush it. So it's like intact and not like all over the place. Last but not least is the lips. I will use two products. This is the NYX Professional Soft Matte Lip Cream. And then the Lord and Taylor gloss. Actually, you need to wait until it like it looks matte. But I'm running out of time. I noticed that I didn't film any mascara part, and watching like most of the clips, I already applied mascara. So I'm not really sure if I deleted the clip or I didn't really film it. Also, I forgot to mention the mascara that I use in the video. So, first I curl my eyelashes using the eyelash curler. I got this when I was in the Philippines and also I bought this at Watson's in the Philippines as well. This is the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Mascara and this is waterproof. And it doesn't smudge. I heard a bunch of positive comments about the mascara. That's why I bought it. And I've been using it for months now. And I really like it. It volumizes and it lengthens your eyelashes. I think we're done about the pop of color from the, the eye makeup. And then on my lips. So that's really nice. <laughs>